to do something with shade and in tents. And this is the only tent that we have. It's a little tight in here, but I think you can fit if I scoot over. Tents and shade? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that what this week is about? Tenting and shading? Tents? Tents. T-I-N-T-S. Oh. Well, that makes sense, because this isn't really that comfortable. That's not going to work. <laughs> Sorry, hon. <laughs> okay, guys, just Janice, and we're doing a video for Nate's Art Lab. Um, we are a group of patrons that get together, and we do once a month a collaboration of the professor's choosing, and he teaches us things, and you should come and have fun with this. I will put the link below. And... We're doing shading and tinting, and basically what he wants us to do is to take one color and make it one shade lighter, or and no, and one shade darker. We're also doing a shade with a metallic. So I am doing alcohol dyes, and I am doing a blue. And Clara Lawrence has a book out that has recipes. And I will put her link below too, but her recipes for the alcohol dyes and creating your own colors is amazing. And you can use them, the dyes in resin, and you can use them for what I'm going to do also. So, for mine, I'm going to start with my regular blue is going to be my isopropyl alcohol, 91%. You can also use 99. Preferably nothing lower than 91 because it's got too much water in it. And I fill up my little containers to the little, uh, the little elbow, the neck here, or what are we going to call it? Shoulder. It's a shoulder, not an neck or an elbow or an ecky or an oopy or anything. It's a shoulder. So I fill up this to here, and my first color is going to be two drops of the blue. So I'm going to do that real quick. Little tiny funnel. Close enough. And I put in two drops of blue. And if you put it in and just squirt, it, it, it squirts out. So be careful. It's thicker, but you want to be able to count the drops. So I just kind of put it on the edge. One, two, that's kind of a half of a one, but it looks like it's two. Wipe off the lid, and then I put a BB in, you can put one or two in. Drop it in, put the lid back on. And shake it, shake it, shake it, shake. And for the lighter one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same process, but I'm only going to do one drop of the blue. And it, it is, when I get the Yupo paper out to, to test it, it's lighter. And for my darker one, I'm going to add three drops of the blue and probably about a little half a drop of the black. Um, I'll see. Anywhere between a half and a whole drop of that. And for my metallic color, I am going to be taking a silver mica and putting it in my, uh, make another bottle of this. Maybe I'll just split this one in half and put in some silver mica. So I'm going to get to mixing and put on some music. So sit back and enjoy.
Okay. Here is my blue, my original blue. I'm going to have to label them. This is my original blue. Here is the lighter blue. And sometimes on dyes, alcohol dyes, you don't see the change until it dries. And here's the darker. And here is my metallic. Okay, you can see the original, the lighter, the darker, and the metallic. And I don't know if you can see the little shimmer shimmer in the metallic. Oh, there it is. Wee, 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 wee. Um, and now I'm going to, I have made other colors to go with it. This is a violet dye with a little bit of piggy in it. We have some nightfall in it, just a tiny bit. And this one is a brown, Whee! there it is. It's a brown with a little bit of a piggy in it, the caramel drizzle in it. And we're going to make something pretty with this. Let's go.
Hi guys. This probably looks a little bit different than when I turned the camera off. I was reaching for paper towels, pulled and came across and kind of messed up composition, broke up some colors. So I went back in with the alcohol and just moved things around, blended and tried to marbleize and get the color back where I wanted it. Um, Nate's Art Lab. The original color is in there. The shaded color is in there. The tinted color is in there, and the metallic color is in there. Um, there's a metallic there too. Um, and the two other colors that I that I mixed are in there. And this was fun. Um, after me, stick around. Elaine Burton Art is up next. Playlist is in in the description. Please go back, watch the ones before and the ones after. Nate's Art Lab is a group of Patreons. We have lots of fun. But I also want to tell you too, I'm going to seal this with a couple, two, three, four, maybe coats of the Kamar varnish um, matte. It is one, if you use matte, the colors do not reactivate. You don't want your inks, your dyes to reactivate because if you're going to spray it with a gloss coating or put resin on it, you don't want it to run everywhere. So it seals it really good. So. Stick around. Hope you enjoyed this. It's been really fun. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, wherever you are.